Hello again, this is Carrier, and I have another video for you today. This is like the third video this week. Um, this is like an anomaly because I've been doing like one or two videos a week, but I thought I really wanted to do this video because I really wanted to open it and I really wanted to open it on tape. I did a video for this book as well as the Little Leaders book. Um, not too, like a, like a few days ago, really very recently. And um, I mentioned in that book, for, in that review for this um, postcard book is that I felt like the lines were very fine and very close together and I said that I wanted to try one of the this is what I painted with this was done I believe with M. Graham watercolor paints and I said that I wanted to try one of the larger books and I checked my mail this morning and I had this um, this came in the mail today it is from I'm gonna try to get the name correctly and if I get this wrong I'm super super sorry um sultana and i think that's right but if that's wrong i'm pronouncing it like it's spanish i don't know if it's spanish um but i'm gonna say sultana um thank you so much sultana um i also decided last year that i was gonna start putting um people's names in the book um uh, who got me the book so that i could always remember it so um you know so like let's say i you know i put this away let's say i you know decide i want to paint a page or I want to look at what I did, you know, like six months down the line or a year down the line. Um, I always remember that it was from a fan, but this way I'll remember exactly who it is from. Um, so I'm going to, I got my marker ready. So when I finish the review, I will um, put your name in the book so that I remember um, who it is from. So anyway, so when I did the review, I talked about the, the paper quality of these, which is really, really great. I didn't um, tape this down or anything. I just like painted on this. I just painted on it. This is um, a postcard and I didn't tape it down or anything. I literally just put it on top of the book and I started painting it. And as you can see, I used a lot of water, had some big washes here. So, um, so I was really impressed with the quality of the paper, but I really wanted to try a different design. So I was super excited to get this. This was from my Amazon wish list. Let me show, let me open it up. I just to show you, I have not opened this yet. Hold on. All right, I may need to fast forward this part of the video. Um, and this came wrapped by um, Amazon and it came in an envelope, which was really impressive. Because, you know, sometimes I, I totally would have expected Amazon to put this in a box because that's what they do. They sometimes put things in strange ways. But this was totally in just a large padded envelope. So that was really good packaging by Amazon for a change. Um, <laughs> anyway, oh, this is so nice. Oh, look at this. Oh, I'm going to have so much fun. Oh, look at this. I'm going to, I think I'm going to paint these in order. Um, these do have a much larger area. Let me show you my, my finger. I mean, it's still not super big, but you don't necessarily have to do it. The lines are really faint. And uh, now while I use watercolor with this, um, it does say in the back, or at least it did in the back of this, it said that you could use other mediums as well. So um, you could use watercolor, pencil, crayon, marker, ink. Um, and I don't remember if I said that in the other one. Oh, this is 150 GSM. And this is, I think, a little bit thinner. I don't think this is 100. Uh, this is um, now this is 250 GSM and this is 180 GSM. So this is a little bit lighter. Um, oh yeah, you, you do feel that it's a little bit lighter, um, but it's fine. It's still thick enough. Now this, I will probably have to tape down when I actually get to um, painting with this. I will definitely, yeah, this is thin enough that I'll have to tape it down. So it won't be like the other one where I didn't even bother to tape it down. This I will have to tape it down, but I got something from Actually, I got something that will let me tape it down really easily. Um, but anyway, um, look at this. So this does have, um, just as I suspected, this does have a lot of detail, but it's definitely much more doable. Um, and there's much greater area. So like even that, which is a fine detail. Let me show you. I'm sorry, my hands are a little ashy today. Um, you can see how fine that detail is with my finger there versus um, even here in the fine areas how the detail is fine, but you can totally get like a one or a two brush and get in here or you can do like larger areas and then fill it in. Um, so yeah, this is definitely thinner paper than the, um, the postcard book, but it's not really, I don't think it should be a problem. Um, I will paint one of these probably relatively soon. Um, I was actually looking for something that I can use for
for my, like I said in a previous video, I really wanted to start redoing my watercolor paint reviews. Um, I did some in the past and I wanna do some new ones. So this will be really helpful for that. Um, and I can pretty much see myself doing this. Um, doing these um let me try to go back a little bit it's kind of a it's kind of a little bit hard because on the one hand i want to show you the the big picture but on the other hand i want to show you the detail so um so it's a little hard but um but this does lay flat too this also lays flat uh and it, i feel like the paper should come out fairly easily i'm gonna take one of the other ones out and i was just thinking that i want to learn how to you know paint barns and stuff so there's a bunch of barns here um, so that's awesome. This is a little bit finer detail, much more repetitive detail. Maybe my friend Amy would like this. Um, I've never been a fan of the, the same design over and over like a tile. Um, but I know, well, it's not really identical. It's slightly different. It looks like it was just drawn over and over again. So it's going to be slightly different every time. Um, so there's that, but this is like a hand painted tile, like old fashioned hand painted tile. Um, this is also really nice. And I think what I'm going to do with this is I think I'm going to use this, um, or at least some pages, cause some pages, I think I have a little bit too much detail for using for reviews. Um, something like this, I probably will use this one for my own personal self and make this like a long-term project because of all the fine detail in this one. But some of the other ones um, I can totally use for uh, some of the watercolor paint reviews. Uh, because you know, when you do coloring books, sometimes I love watercolor paints and I love the effect that they make, but sometimes it's hard to find just the right book with just the right paper. And this paper does look like it has um, some sizing and there is texture here. So even though it says you can use marker, um, this is not, yeah, this is like a cold press textured paper. You can see, um, that this is a cold press paper. So cold press is a little bit more textured than hot press. And I will, um, before either, before I start doing my watercolor reviews or, um, relatively soon after I start redoing my watercolor paint reviews, I will do a video on, um, some of the watercolor materials that I think you need and some of the ones that I think are not necessarily necessary. Oh, it's a shame that this is, I mean, I understand why it's bound to the back, but you could totally use this um, to hold the pages in. You can tape it down on the sides like that and then use this that way if you wanted to do that. Now, let me see, So I wanna paint this one first anyway. This is the last, the least detailed one of the bunch. And I'm gonna see how well this comes out. Ooh, I'm ashy. Let's see how well this comes out. All right, I think that's what you gotta do. Hold on, let's see how well this comes out. Oh, there you go. So this does come out, it's a little bit, you know, it's a little bit challenging. Um, it's a little bit challenging to come out, but um, I think the way that it's made, it, it is made to be able to be removed. Um, you can see here, it's just tape bound, so you can just take them out. Um, but you're gonna have to display a little bit of caution. You can't just rip it out. Um, and I think if you wanna get pages, especially if you wanna get pages in the middle, you're gonna have to display a little bit of caution. But um, thank you, Sultana, um, and thank you again also for um, everyone who has donated over on GoFundMe to help uh, get me that table. Um, I'm gonna get a Google check at the end of this month and I'm gonna put whatever I get in the check towards that table. So at some point um, later on in the month, you'll see the amount needed for the table to go down and that's why the amount will go down because I'm gonna use whatever I get from the Google check to get that table. Anyway, um, thank you guys again so much, and I really appreciate this. I am super, super excited about this. Um, this is just perfect timing. I cannot wait to um, start doing this. Um, the subject matter, everything, is just really nice. I so appreciate it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share. Um, check out the Amazon wish list down below. There's Patreon, you know, you know we've, we've discussed everything before. Thank you guys so much, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.